Hello, this is John McEntee from Incantation, and you're watching Richard Metal Fan. Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I, for, I'm also going to do four reviews today. today we're going to do two new album reviews and then two old album reviews. And so I'm going to bring you guys a brand new 2020 album review. This is the, the first one out of the two. And today we're going to be looking into one of my favorite death metal bands of all time. And as you can see with the we're going to be looking into the new album from Incantation entitled Sect of Vile Divinities, which was released today through Relapse Records. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Incantation, they're a death metal band based out of Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and these guys have been around since 1989. And uh, Incantation, for me, are one of my favorite bands and one of the best death metal bands, especially in like the whole underground movement. And these guys, in my opinion, are one of the most consistent bands in death metal. It's like they pretty much still sound the same even after almost 30 years. Um... And they just have like a formula that they stick with and you can definitely tell they don't stray away from the formula It's just always been just straight-up death metal, which is pretty awesome uh, Just this album of course follows up their uh, previous album which came out in 2017 profane nexus Which is is a pretty good album, but does this album live up or exceed what incant Incantation had with profane nexus in my honest opinion it definitely has like ugh, like the, god damn this album is just so just relentless and just punishing and like especially just hearing like like the production is just, just insane um and vocally like my boy john mckenzie his voice just sounds just so goddamn brutal i just love how he he just sounds so sick even like ever since like o2 where he would he just decided to take up vocal responsibilities which he still takes up to this day his voice just sounds sick and just the guitar playing in general on this album is tight just like the riffing that john does is great and just the leads from Son sunny is just great um bass wise it's the bass is actually pretty audible you could definitely hear it well in the mix and just the drumming wise it's pretty great i just like how this album has like a mixture of like just fast brutal songs and then just like mid pace and like slower kind of songs where incantation sort of has like death metal but they also have a little bit of like doomy me approach to some of these tracks so yeah, without further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now starting things off is Ritual Impurity, Seven of the Sky is One. When when I first heard this song, it's kind of like a mixture of like old and new. And it has like the elements of like death and thrash and just uh, rhythmically has some really great riffs. And I think it's a pretty good way to start off this album. Um, then we move on to the next song on the album, which is called Propitiation shit or propitiation i probably fucked it up which is the first single released from this album and i love this song it's a very mid-paced track and musically this kind of reminds you a little bit of like something from nile if it has the doomy parts a little bit and the first half is kind of instrumental and then a tappy part comes in and the vocals appear and i feel like john actually just sounds more guttural here than he does before on for on pr pretty much had previous incantation albums and it's a pretty damn good song i like it and then we go on to Entrails of the Hag Queen, which has some very fast-paced drumming and very high tempo-wise. And it pretty much goes hand-in-hand hand with sort of like the fast riffs. And just it also goes into like more of the Death Doom style that Incantation is known for. Um, moving on to Guardians from the Primeval, which has a, a haunting-like atmosphere. And it gives, and I definitely feel that vibe here at this track. Um... Black Fathom's Fire, which starts off with a little bit of a snare roll and then just all hell just breaks loose. And everything on this track just flows well here, and it's one of my favorites. And then we go into the next song, which I'll probably butcher the song title, which is Ignis Fatuus. Which, I mean, this song is only about two and a half minutes long, and it's surprisingly, like, you think with a sh shorter song, song length, you would think it would be a fast song, but no, it's actually have, has a bit more of a slower tempo and the guitars pretty much carry the rhythm here. It's a pretty good song. And uh, next song on the album is called Chant of the F of Formless Dead. And this is pretty much what we have heard so far from this album. I mean, some people would say like Incantation would lack in variety, but I kind of disagree. Like they have their style and they pretty much stick with it for the last 30 years and everybody seems to like it. So if you don't, if, you, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Um, then we go on to Shadow Blade Masters of Temptus and Maelstrom, which is another great song on here. And it has that whole like doomy 
Britney and nightmare-like atmosphere that they pretty much had in the 90s, even going through like onward and to Golgotha. Um, next song on here is Scribes of the Stygian, which follows in like that same vein as the last track. It has a really great clean guitar in here, and it also sounds because it's a bit more of a darker tone to it. And then we go into Unborn Ambrosia which follows in the, in that same kind of like dark tone that we've got so far and it moves at a very mid-paced tempo. And moving on to uh, Fury's Manifesto, which is a very fast-paced song and the drumming on this track is so sick and that it is tight as fuck and just John sounds sick on here vocally. And then the album closes with Sieg He Hive, which is a pretty good way to end the album. Now overall, all Sect of uh, Divinities by Incantation is another great album that their discography, like, they definitely d can do no wrong, even after 30 years. So, if I were to give this album a score, I'm going to give this probably a solid 9 out of 10. So, yep, that's my review of the new Incantation, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the album, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.